Well, congratulations on this film. Thank it you. made me so scared. I was slipping the entire time, but then at <laughs> the end, I was like, that was like a fun ride. Good. Was that the, what was the intention? That was the exact intention. Um, I wanted to create uh, characters that were likable, relatable, uh, but I wanted to feel like you were going through a park. I wanted to feel uh, like an experience like these mazes are. Um, and um, if the audience feels that way and they, 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 they feel like they got that, then I'm super happy. Well, touching on that, it's exactly how it, I left and I told my roommates I felt like I was at Hellfest. Good. From the production to the actual plotline, it was so realistic. Good. What was the, what did you guys keep in mind during the production and the editing to achieve that? It's always performance first. It's, it's um, uh, through, through, through production it was, first, let's create an environment that feels real. Let's create scope. Uh, I want to create the very best park. I want people to say, I know these parks, but this one I want to go to. Um, and then it was just finding real performances. I have great actors. Uh, even though they're young, so some of them don't have as much experience or they haven't been uh, seen as much, um, they're all just phenomenal. They're all going to pop after this movie. Um, and they all just kept it real. And I didn't need some of the sort of stereotypical um, um, characters. And we had some great conversations about how to play the characters. And um, I just wanted it real because um, that's, that's, that's sort of that, that's what I, I find appealing. It did seem real, and there was a lot of camaraderie between the actors, and even off screen when I got to talk to They're them, we felt it, like yeah. they were all friends. Yeah. <laughs> but what was the best part about filming Hellfest? Because you have so many projects that you've worked on, but what makes Hellfest different for you? First of all, it's a treat to get to direct. It's such a, you know, I'm such a lucky guy. Um, but it was, it was, um, it was, the thing was kind of writing a love letter to the films I grew up with. Um, the Halloweens, the Friday the 13th, the, the Nightmare on Elm Streets, um, the, the, the Texas Chainsaw. I, I was able to take a genre that I love that I haven't seen for a while and put it on screen. Um, and that was just a thrill for me. Um, I feel like slashers are ready for a comeback. Um, and luckily horror is at the forefront of, of our film going experience now. So um, it's great to have all kinds of horror out there. Yes, and I feel like the other differs from a lot of other um horror characters that we see is similar in some senses but a little bit different but as a woman so scary to have someone that you can't identify right. you feel like is following you but then we get a little bit more of a humanized aspect in the end what was the uh, the creative vision behind that it was as you said it was it was it was humanizing it it was it was i didn't want it to feel supernatural or how could this happen i wanted it to be kind of grounded in reality i thought my performances were grounded in reality um, obviously the setting is grounded in reality and i wanted the killer to share that same uh, that same reality what was your favorite scene of the entire movie <laughs> it's like asking which was my favorite child <laughs> um, or to it, film um, it, two of my favorites my, my favorite scene is probably the the night bump sequence because um, it's based on uh, I was on the Harry Potter ride at Universal and it broke down and I freaked out at my very first panic attack and um, immediately went home started writing and uh, pitching the ideas uh, you know to everybody um, so that was one of those that was I don't think they quite understood what I was going for, uh, but then as soon as they saw it, they said, oh, we totally get it now. Um, that and then the execution sequence was one that was a, big, a really big challenge, um, but it's super fun to, to make. I got to work with Tony Todd. Um, it was great. The whole thing was great. The execution sequence was so, all of the different type of killing scenes or not killing scenes, the jukes that you guys took, I feel like the beauty of it was in the anticipation. Yeah. Was that the thought behind it? A hundred percent. Coming from an editorial background, it was, I wanted to build anticipation. I wanted to build tension um, and do a lot of cross cutting and sort of have a lot of balls up in the air. And um, that was the sequence where it all sort of came together for me. Well, thank you so much for talking with thank me. You. Congratulations. Thank you this so is going to be the movie of October. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you.